everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles. Today, in this video, we are going to condense logarithmic expressions. So basically, we're taking big, long expressions with a bunch of terms and combining them into a single logarithm. So of course, we're using our logarithm properties. I have a few of them written here. These are the most common ones we use. And before, in another video, we did expanding logarithmic expressions. So we took a single term and we expanded it as far as we could expand it. Now we're doing the opposite. So instead of going from left to right, we're going from right to left using these properties. So I'm taking addition and turning it into multiplication. Subtraction is turning into division. And I'm taking things being multiplied out in front, right? Some number being multiplied out in front, I'm rewriting it as an exponent. So we're doing the opposite as when we expanded. So the first thing I can do is move this three up to the exponent as well as this two because I cannot combine these yet. I need to get rid of these constants being multiplied out front, then I can combine these into a single logarithm. So that's gonna be my first step, right? These, this three is going up to the exponent spot as well as this two. So I'm left with log base five of x cubed plus log base five of three cubed. Three cubed is simply nine. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite nine right here. So I don't have to write the whole thing out again. I'll just erase and put nine. Now I can combine these, and I have addition, so I'm going from addition to multiplication in one single logarithm. So log base five of x cubed times nine, and I'm gonna put the nine out in front, so I have nine x cubed, just because that's how I prefer to look at it, so. All right, so we're just gonna do a bunch of examples, and this is the kind of video where I encourage you to pause and try these on your own, and then press play if you wanna check your answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this. We actually don't have any factors out in front that I need to rewrite as exponents, so I can just go ahead and combine this. And since I have subtraction, it's gonna turn into division within one single logarithm. I have the same base, so I'm good to go. Log base two, I'm gonna draw big parentheses here because this is gonna be a fraction over a fraction, right? My one over x is up top over one over x squared. Okay, a fraction over a fraction. So how do I divide two fractions? Now I gotta think back to my algebra rules. I'm gonna erase this parentheses because what I normally do is I draw an arrow up here, I flip and multiply across. That's how I multiply fractions. So x squared over x, which is actually just equal to x. So my final simplified logarithm is log base two of x. All right, next example, I'm gonna rewrite these as a single logarithm. So this time I do have a factor out in front. I can bring this up to the exponent. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I always have to do that before I go combining stuff. So that's going to become what? Cubed. I have square root of x cubed. Square root of x cubed minus log base 3 of x squared. Okay, I can do one more thing before I combine these. I'm gonna actually rewrite this as a single exponent. Square root is just what? One half power, right? And if I remember my exponent rules correctly, when I have a power raised to a power, I multiply. So I have three times one half. So what I'm left with when I simplify is log base three of x to the three halves minus log base three of x squared now I can go ahead and rewrite this. I'm going to draw this little arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and combine them. Since it's subtraction, it's going to turn into division. One single logarithm, base 3. I'm going to draw big parentheses here. This x to the 3 halves, that's what's on top, right? This first log, whatever's in that, that's always what's on top. You can clearly see it from the formula here. 3 over 2 over x squared. Now I can still simplify this. I'm going to draw one more little arrow down here. This is gonna be simplified into my final form right here, but if you remember the exponent rules correctly, I do top exponent minus bottom exponent. So three halves minus two, right? Which should just give me negative one half. So log base three of x to the negative one half. This is probably an acceptable answer, but sometimes professors don't like negative Exponent. So you could always write it as this, log base 3 of what, 1 over square root of x, because that's what x to the negative 1 half is, 1 over square root of x. Whichever way, these are, I think these are both fine. 
All right, next example, I have numbers being multiplied out in front of both these logs. So I'm gonna rewrite both these, this four and this three as exponents up top so I can combine these log expressions. So I have log base three of x squared to the fourth power minus log base three of two x to the third power, okay? Now again, I always combine these. I combine these so that I can just simply combine these logarithms as well. So I use my properties of exponents where I have a power to a power, I multiply two times four, that gives me x to the eighth. Log base three of x to the eighth minus log base three of what's two x cubed? Well, one way to think about it is two x times itself, three times, right? Two x times two x times two x, or you could simply distribute the three to both of these, to the two as well as the x. So two cubed times x cubed. So what I'm actually gonna have is log base three, and in here I'm gonna have eight x cubed. So either way you wanna think about it. Now I have subtraction, so this is gonna turn into division. I'm gonna draw my little arrow here. I'm gonna combine these into one single log base three. And now what am I left with? And I'm sorry this three doesn't look too much like a base. It kind of looks like three x to the eighth, which it's not, so I'll rewrite it. So I have log base three of x to the eighth over eight x cubed. So x to the eighth power over eight x cubed. Now I can actually simplify. Again, top exponent minus bottom exponent. So I'm left with what? 8 minus 3, that's x to the 5th on top, and my 8 can just stay on the bottom. That's fine. So my final simplified form, let's see, it's a single logarithm, log base 3 of x to the 5th over 8. You could also write it as 1 8th x to the 5th, either way. All right, this is our last example. Go ahead and try it on your own. But I'm going to go ahead and start. Let's see, I have no factors out in front. I don't have to bring anything up here. I can bring this five up though as to the fifth power. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. This log base four stays the same, x squared minus one. I'm okay with that. Minus log base four, again, my five is going up here to the exponent. So log base four, x plus one to the fifth power. Now I can just combine these. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll draw my little arrow here. I have log base four, and again, I'm going from subtraction to division. So this x squared minus one is gonna be up top, x squared minus one. And on the bottom is x plus one to the fifth power. x plus one to the fifth power. So some people may write check done, but you can actually simplify this one step further. This numerator is a difference of squares. If I break this up, I can cancel out one of these x plus ones in the denominator. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So yeah, I factor the top, let's see, log base four. So I have like two more steps left. First, I'm gonna break up the top, log base four. That x squared minus one becomes x plus one, x minus one. Hopefully I've seen difference of squares before. If not, I actually have a video on it. On the bottom, I have x plus one to the fifth power. All right, we got this all rewrote nice and neat. So as you can see, one of these x plus ones will cross out with one of these x plus ones on bottom and leave me with x plus one to the fourth in the bottom. So my final simplified single condensed logarithmic expression is log base four. In the numerator, I have x minus one. In the denominator, I have x plus one to the fourth power. There we go. Hopefully this video helped and you got some good practice in. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit like, subscribe to my channel, visit my channel for more videos, keep flexing those brain muscles, and keep making those brain gains.